Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a little speed build. I'm excited because I barely do builds on my channel but when I do I'm always like why don't I do this more? <laughs> yeah we're going to be doing a base game build. I already built it and let me tell you that was one of the hardest things I have ever done. <laughs> I did the every room is a random pack challenge and I thought that was hard and then when I had to use base game I, I was just frustrated and this whole thing was just base game but to my surprise I'm actually quite satisfied with how the house came out. I hope that you guys like it. So as always with my speed builds I guess I've only ever done it once huh? I don't know but I like to answer you guys' questions as a voiceover just you know to combine a build video with the <coughs> Sorry. To combine a build video with a Q&A. So yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram to so ask me some questions. I have a bunch of them. I'm probably only gonna have time to um, answer a few, but there are some good ones in here, so I'm excited. If you are new here, hello, my name is Savannah. Thank you for clicking on this video. I have loads of Sim Sims content on my channel. I've got a bunch of Let's Plays. I've got cast challenges and builds. <laughs> so if that interests you, it would mean the world to me if you would come and join the family. I'm trying to reach 100K and it would really help me if you could subscribe and yeah, help me get there. Anyways guys, enough of that. Let's get into some base game building and some questions. I think when I upload it to the gallery though, it might say that I used get together because I accidentally used some get together terrain paint, but I erased it, but there could be remnants of it. So it might show up that way, but everything else is base game, I promise. No CC either, so yeah. All right, guys, enough chit chat. Let's get into this video. Okay, so this is the shell. I like to build the shell beforehand just because it makes the video a little bit shorter and I personally don't enjoy people building shells. So this is uh, what I did. And this is in my fit, my favorite lot in Oasis Springs. It's called Ar Arid Ridge. It's so, so very nice. <laughs> um, just a couple of things I want to point out before I get into some questions about this build. Uh, it is for a mom or a couple and their teenage daughter. When I built the floor plan, I completely forgot about the living room. So there's no living room until the end. I have to like squeeze it in really quick, but I still like the way that it turned out. Just in case you guys were wondering in the beginning where the living room is. That's the situation with that. So yeah, let's get into some questions while I do the build. While I do the build. Um, do you prefer realistic gameplay or supernatural sim? by Sammy Kit T. Um, I like both, but if I had to choose one, I would choose realistic gameplay. Uh, M.E. Ruse asks, how are you doing? I appreciate you asking. I'm doing pretty good, but when school starts, I know that my mood is going to plummet, so that should be fun. I have a few days left of vacation though, so I'm gonna try and make the best out of it. Uh, I got a couple of questions asking me what I'm going to school for, but the one I see here is by Rose Hoodie XOXO. I am majoring in graphic design. I like graphic art a lot. I would love to do something like video game design or advertising or anything like that would be really dope. If I could get a job with the with EA or Maxis, I would probably poop my poop my pants. <laughs> what is your current go-to snack by Kelly Fam? Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. So they are they're like seaweed snacks, but they're chips. They're called bugak chips. They are Korean, I believe. It's, yeah, authentic Korean recipe. So it's like a seaweed piece and then it's got um, sticky rice and it's like seasoned. Oh my God, they're so delicious. That's definitely hands down my favorite snack. I got the bag at Costco believe it or not, but yeah, I don't have any right now, but that's my go-to snack. Um, Sammy's asks, have you found any pros and cons after becoming a more popular streamer slash YouTuber? Pros is I'm meeting a lot of cool people. I've built lots of nice relationships and it feels good when like tons of people react to my videos and like just they send me such sweet messages and that, that's always really nice. It always boosts my self-esteem. Cons though, I mean, I guess it's just like 
rude people in the comments, but that's just that's just normal, I think, on YouTube. Um, cons, what other cons? I, I, uh, I feel bad when I don't upload because so many people want me to. And so when I can't or when I don't, like I feel a little bit guilty. I hate that feeling and I'm trying not to feel that way because I really shouldn't, but uh, it happens, man. But overall, everything is great and I'm super thankful. DM DMT Tatter asks, what astrological sign are you? I'm a Virgo. I don't know about my rising moon or or dipping so I don't even know what they're called. I don't know what my uh, what those are, but I'm a Virgo. I was born on September 5th. Twas Amy says, where do you buy the majority of your clothes? Because they're really nice. Oh, thanks, Amy. I like ASOS. I also really like Abercrombie. Nordstrom as well. I used to shop at like Forever 21 and things like that. Um, but I find that I am gravitating more towards quality now. I like my clothes to feel nice and last long and don't get ruined after one wash. So yeah, that that those are the places that I like right now. Uh, what was the first ever video you uploaded on your SimSav channel? 10k here we come. Thank you Camille Grant. <laughs> my first ever video was actually a Rags to Riches series that I have privated now because it's really really bad. Um, no face cam and I just was really awkward so that was technically my first video but the first video that I have up I think is a speed build. Was Amy also asks how are you so darn good at eyeliner? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, years and years of practice like literally years. A lot Elena is okay asks why did you start doing YouTube? I got a few of these questions actually. So I've always liked watching YouTube videos, um, beauty ones, vlogs, so I was like contemplating if I should, but then I was like, nah, there's nothing really special about me, I'm not going to, but then my aunt was like, just do it, you'll never know unless you try, and so I was like, fine, so I bought a bunch of equipment and I started doing vlogs and beauty videos, and then I kind of started losing passion for it, so I stopped. And I transitioned over to playing Sims because I started watching like Deligracy and some other Simmers. Like I didn't even know this community existed online until I found her videos and I was like, this is dope. I've been playing Sims for like ever. I have all the equipment that I need. I'm gonna give it a try. And so I did and here we are one year later almost to 100k and I'm just so happy that I decided to do it. So if you're like... I had no idea this was gonna happen. So if you are someone who wants to start a Sims channel but you're like too scared or you're just like, you don't know if you should or not, just freaking do it, dude. You never know. You literally never know. Just try. That was a long one. Um, Ava Sarek, which Celsius flavor is your favorite? I'm gonna have to go with sparkling watermelon, then next Fuji apple pear, and then after that, peach. Do 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 Kylie, who is your favorite sim from any of your series? Much love to you, Sab. Much love to you, Kylie, as well. My favorite sim is Ren. <laughs> Haley asks, what electives were you in during high school? Lots of art, graphic design, anything that has to do with art, really. Uh, Montana Ricci, how did you lose weight being a vegan? I gained weight. <laughs> I know how that is. The vegan diet's weird because it's like, it's lots of pasta, rice, potatoes, um, things like that, so I can see why you gain weight because that happened to me too, but uh, I started eating more of the vegan proteins along with more vegetables. My family, they're really big on vegetables. All of us are. We get this vegetable box every week that's just filled with different kinds of vegetables and we, it's like, <sighs> How do I explain? You know how you're supposed to have like some protein, some carbs, and some vegetables? With me, I just have protein and vegetables. I limit my carbs quite a bit. I know that we need carbs to survive, obviously. I just don't eat as much as a normal person. Um, also, I don't eat sugar. Like I cut sugar a few months ago, like the beginning of the year or something like that. And I just use like a monk fruit substitute, so that really helps because there's sugar in everything, you know? And uh, it cleared up my skin and I just have more energy. I know it's hard, trust me, I freaking know. Um, I know. <laughs> 
Let's see, Izzy H, what other Sims challenges would you like to do? I love you, by the way. I love you too. I would love to do Not So Berry, the Disney Princess challenge. A lot of you guys want me to do the Black Widow challenge. Um, there are a bunch more. I'm going to try and do every single challenge there is out there on my channel at some point. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lexa Very, Very Vera asks, can we get a wig installment video? Your wigs lay so nicely and look so cute. Thank you. I, okay, I would do a video, but I literally just slap them on my head and call it a day. Like, I don't do anything special. Uh, it, it's probably just because it's in a video and you guys don't can't really see it that well or something. I don't know. I just I just put them on. So the video would be very boring and short. <laughs> Abigail Santana, I love you too. Uh Danny Louise 888. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. When I was a child, I wanted to be an optometrist. I've always had an obsession with eyes. So I thought that would be cool, but that faded away fast <laughs> when I found out that art was my path. <laughs> Amy Brain P asks, what are your favorite baby names for when you have kids? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much, Amy. Um, so I use the names in my legacy challenge for the names that I would actually use in real life. I love the name Ren, I love the name Max, I love the name Olive, so <laughs> yeah, just look at the legacy challenge and you'll know. Let's see here, Chloe is Pat, Pat, Pate? What is your favorite thing about playing Sims? By the way, love you, Sav, love you too, Chloe. My favorite thing about playing Sims is just, mm, I would probably have to say the customization. I'm a huge sucker for customization. Any game that has extensive customization options, I'm like, yes, let's do it, let's get it. And The Sims is like God tier customization. So that and I just like living, the li living another life in a game. I don't know how to explain it. It's just such a mindless thing, but I really enjoy it and it makes me happy. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same. Uh, Liv Fernandez, what is the best part of recording gameplays? I love this question. Um, so like I get so excited when something happens or like I really like a build or or like how the, the story is progressing. I get like when I'm filming, I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot wait for you guys to see this. I can't wait to hear your opinions. So it's like, it's like sharing something with your friend or like something happens in your life and you share it with someone and you're just so excited that you want to tell somebody. That's how it feels. I guess that's, that's, that, that's the answer. <laughs> Katie Bird 3 did your YouTube channel take off really fast or did it take time and hard work? Um, uh, a little bit of both, I guess. So we're almost to 100K and it's been a little over a year. So I would say that's pretty good. Um, it took a lot of hard work though, like, trust me, trust me. Filming long, long, hour-long videos and editing those things, it's very time-consuming, but definitely worth it. Ooh, I like this question. Subject B, do you have any routine slash ritual before starting filming? Absolutely. I like to listen to songs that pump me up, pump up my jam, uh, and I go do the teeth and the tongue tip of the tongue, teeth and the lips thing a few times just to get the air bubbles out of my mouth and get my vocal cords warmed up. And I like to, well, I guess I crack open the Celsius when I start recording, but that's definitely something that I like to have during filming because it gives me more energy. <laughs> <laughs> and I need that. Oh my god, this is such a good question. Bethany Elise says, what is one thing you would try if you knew you wouldn't fail? Love this question so much. I would do theater. Uh, I'm a huge theater fan. I love going to see plays, live things, just the emotion. I, I can't go without crying, you know? And it's just beautiful to me and I always think like why didn't I do this in school why didn't I take like a theater elective why didn't I join like a theater program when I was younger it's just something I really love so I would have loved to do that but I can't sing and I can't really dance so 
but if, if I knew I wouldn't fail, that's 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 what I would do, 100%. Official Shannon Marie, not a question, just wanted to say I love you and you're my fave. I love you too, thank you so much. Teodora MTN says, with what program do you edit your videos and how long does it take you to edit a video? I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC and it takes me anywhere from two and a half to three and a half hours to edit, <laughs> depending on how long the video is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Lauren B. Dorf says, have you ever been to Germany? I haven't. I've only been to the United States and to Mexico, no other country. Zombie Rat says, planning on sharing all your CC, something like a list. I love you. I love you too. So the thing with CC, I get this question a lot. They're just like, can you upload your CC to a folder and upload the folder to for us? But the thing with custom content is the creator specifically ask you not to re-upload their, their uh, creations because it detracts, detracts, is it, is that, it, it takes away from the traffic that they will get on their site or they would get on their profile on Sims Resource or like their livelihood, I'm guessing. So yeah, if you re-upload something, it's kind of breaking their, their terms of conditions or whatever you want to call it. So you can't do that. And I think it's pretty, <laughs> It's pretty sad if you do because they take all this time to create custom content for us for free and you should promote them instead of re-uploading it somewhere else so that they don't get the kudos for that. So the best I can do is post links to my favorite creators and that's what I have in my video descriptions if you guys want to check that out. Yeehaw Bay. Oh, what's up, Bailey? Why do you live in California? Were you born there? Yes, I was. Born and raised, ma'am. Born and raised. Sarah VD Bulk 4168 asks, what's your favorite color? I would have to say like this color right here, the walls. And I also really love a dusty pink, lavender yellow oh been loving yellow lately bailey also asks how old were you when you started playing the sims which game did you start with i don't remember how old i was but i I've, I've been playing the sims since the sims 1 came out so long time <laughs> um enes esfaria asks what my favorite series is at the moment legacy or eco i don't know which one probably legacy legacy will always be my favorite Mikhail Ash Michaela Michaela Ashton asks, what's your take on Maxis slash EA refusing to fix the darker skin tones in the game? Honestly, it's ugh, it's freaking infuriating. And I I watched the video, they said that they're going to fix it. They said that they're working on fixing it. I just hope that they bring the color wheel back because that's the way to go. Swatches ain't it. You need the color wheel. Um, but I am so very thankful for the Melanin Pack by X Mira Mira, I think her name is. Without that, yeah, I would be lost. What's your favorite Sims 4 pack? K uh, Saren... S Saren Kara. So sorry if I butchered that. My favorite pack is Seasons, 100%. I always tell people this. Um, Seasons is a pack where I feel like you get your money's worth because no matter your play style in the game, it will change it like it you'll see you'll note it you'll it's like a noticeable change no matter your play style if that makes any sense at all uh the calendar is clutch holidays are huge for me so yeah i'm gonna say seasons what is your favorite season or weather mortality coach winter winter is my favorite winter and autumn but winter more and i love rain 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 um, oh, Mortality Coach, you got some good questions here. What's a celebrity you don't like, but a lot of people do? Channing Tatum. I'll say it once. I'll say it a million times. Joanna asks, were there any series you were nervous to start for whatever reason? Love you, Sav. Love you too, Joanna. Yes, I'm nervous to start every single series because I'm scared that you guys won't like it. I'm scared that I'll disappoint you. I'm scared that... I'm just scared that I won't live up to expectations. I'm super self-conscious, you guys, and insecure, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Yes, I am. Angelica Roses asks, if the zoo was giving away animals, what animal would you adopt supplies included? That is such a good question. And I'm gonna have to go with the extremely cliche answer of elephant because they are my favorite thing to see at the zoo. 
I just think they're amazing. They're just so, so, so cute. And I would love to have one. The Sims Drama TV. Are you planning to stream also on Europe suited time? Mostly it's night for me. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this. And I'm really sorry I haven't yet. Um, just later in the afternoon is just the best time for me. But I do want to make time for all y'alls on the other side of the world. I promise I will. Casey Huffman asks, is there anything about any of your LPs you wish had gone differently? Love them all, by the way. Thank you so much, Casey. When I think about it, like, I don't think so. I, even when something bad happens, I take it and I try and work with it. And I think that it builds story. It builds the story and it takes me out of my comfort zone. Um, if, if everything went the way I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted it to, all of my LPs would be so similar. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another thing I like about The Sims. It's just very, it's very unpredictable, that's for sure. This is another question by The Sims Drama TV. You have some good questions here. Would you say that your CC collection is organized and you have a good overview of it? Yeah, I do, actually. I have all my CC organized into folders. Down to eyebrows, lashes, tattoos, hats, scarves, like everything is in its own folder. Mm, I'm pretty organized, so yeah, it helps me. The chaos of some CC folders makes me want to chew my foot off. So I try to keep mine as organized as possible. Um, oh shit, Erica X, do you have another job outside of YouTube? If not, did you before? I don't right now. Um, YouTube and then uni is what I'm focusing on right now, but I did have a job before this. I worked at Michael's Arts and Crafts in the framing department, so I did custom framing, I built frames, all that good stuff. Before that, I worked at GameStop. <laughs> um, before GameStop, I worked at Marshalls. Before Marshalls, I worked at... Where did I work? Oh yeah, a call center for Facebook, like Facebook gaming, like Farmville, Frontierville, Mafia Wars, all that stuff. I worked in the billing call center for that, so that was fun. That was my first job. <laughs> Brenda Janice asks, what's something you've done in an LP that you didn't think you liked but ended up loving? Probably Ren being a vampire. I was so bummed out about that at first, but it ended up being like the best thing ever. So yeah, that was cool. The, it's the real Maya asks me what your favorite band slash artist is. Uh, I'm gonna go with like Blink-182 or Third Eye Blind. Cindy says, do you think you'll ever get burnt out of YouTube slash Twitch? <sighs> right now I'm feeling like no. Like I, uh, I don't feel like I ever will. I love it so much and it's like, it's my hobby. Like, it's my thing. And I've I've been playing Sims since the first one, and I'm still not burned out of it, so I probably... No, I don't think so. And with maybe The Sims 5 coming out, like, that'll be a whole new area to explore, to do videos of. I, I just don't ever see myself getting burnt out. As long as I give myself healthy breaks, like everyone should, I think I'll be good. Melissa... You're the sweet one. Just gotta throw that in there. <laughs> Carrie, um, important question. What is your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie is Dumbo, 100%. Shinel and Zach ask me, what keeps you motivated to do videos? I worry I won't be most of the time when I start. Okay, so motivation for videos for me, I get motivated when I watch other people play Sims. I don't know if it's like that for you guys when you watch my videos. Actually, I know it is because a lot of you guys say, like, when I watch you play Sims, I want to play Sims. And it's the same for me. Like, I watch a YouTube video and they'll be like, I, I need to get on. I need to film, like, right now. <laughs> and, like, just, I have really big dreams and I have big goals and I just want my mom to be proud of me and I just want to be proud of myself. So I just want to, like, build myself up, do the best that I can in life. It's kind of hard to, for me to put things into words, but I feel like if I just sit around and I don't do anything, then I'll feel so much worse than if I force myself to do something that I know will like push me a little bit forward or will benefit me in the future. So I, yeah, I try not to have idle hands. I try to just keep doing things. <laughs> I feel like I sound so stupid when I'm just trying to put my thoughts into words and it's so dang hard.
Um, Ellie asks, who are your fave YouTubers apart from Simmers? Okay, so I love Sophia Chang. She does really nice vlogs. Um, who else do I watch? Samantha Ra Ravendal. I think I pronounced that right. Let me see who else I'm subscribed to. Samantha Maria. I love Peter McKinnon. Snitchery. Um, Jim Re Reno. Soothing Sista. Claire Marshall. Yeah, I guess that's it. Miss Metalhead, what is your fa what's your all-time favorite drink? Cream soda, which I don't drink anymore, but I love it. I love me some strawberry lemonade, Celsius, <laughs> iced tea. Mm. Kyla Vanessa asks, if you could have anything you want in front of you right now, what would it be? That's such a great question. The first thing that comes to mind is a COVID vaccine so I can get back to my normal life. <laughs> Uh, that was a half serious, half joking answer, by the way. All right. Well, I think that is good for questions. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll show you the house tour now. Instead of screenshots, I did a little tour in tab mode. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you so very much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.